These are some of the strangest laws that have ever been enacted in Chinese history, ranging from the prohibition of crying to the enforcement of proper fish naming etiquette to ink drinking punishments. Imperial Chinese dynasties had to deal with wars, rebellions, and uprisings all the time, so keeping order in the realm was often their most important job. So it's not surprising that Chinese emperors and officials made huge, complicated legal systems to control their empire and the behavior of their people. Here are some of the weirdest laws from ancient China you won't believe existed. Three drunk people were a lot. Getting drunk with friends during the Han Dynasty could be dangerous. If three or more people got together to drink, the law said that each person would have to pay a fine of four tiles of gold. Only big events like weddings, funerals, and festivals were allowed to be different. Many rulers and dynasties tried to limit the amount of alcohol people could drink. This was partly because making alcohol requires rice, sorghum, or millet, which were often hard to come by. Rulers also worried that drunk people could quickly turn into a violent and disorderly mob that would ruin the peace. Stratagems of the Warring States, a book about diplomacy and strategy written during the Western Han Dynasty, says that Yu the Great, the legendary king who is said to have started the Zia Dynasty around 4,000 years old, said that alcohol would destroy a country in the future. Boys from Qing Dynasty don't cry. If you were a boy and tall enough to be considered an adult, you had to be especially careful with your feelings. Bamboo records showed that men were not allowed to cry under Xin law. If an adult man was caught crying, his beard and eyebrows would be shaved off as a punishment. The Xin dynasty is known for its worship of the warrior spirit and warrior traditions, so it's possible that men who cried were seen as weak. Care for Carp Today, people joke about the carp on social media to wish someone good luck. But in the Tang Dynasty, if you talked about the fish in the wrong way, you could get into a lot of trouble. Carp was said the same way in Chinese as the last name of the Tang emperors. The Tang Dynasty book, The Miscellany of Yu Yang, which is a collection of legends, folk customs, and herbal remedies, said that the carp had to be called Lord Red Carp out of respect for the imperial family. Also, because of this homophone, people who catch carp should release them right away. Carps can't be eaten, and people who sell them will be flogged 60 times. But like all laws, this law was only as good as how it was followed. If you look at how many Tang poets wrote about catching carp and eating carp without getting in trouble, you can see that this law was not taken very seriously. Studying the sky is for life. In the past, people called the emperor the son of heaven. The imperial government would often tell stories and use symbols that seemed to show that heaven approved of the emperor's policies. This helped people believe that the emperor had a divine right to rule. A lot of this had to do with astronomy. Looking at the stars was often seen as a way to predict what would happen to the empire and its rulers. Since the Qin Dynasty, Governments had a special department that watched the stars, made calendars, and give advice based on where the stars are and what they do. When Zhu Yanzang became the first emperor of the Ming Dynasty, he decided that the Imperial Bureau of Astronomy needed stricter laws to control it. He made a rule that said everyone in the bureau had to stay at their jobs and couldn't move to other departments. Also, their children and grandchildren were forced to work in astronomy, and couldn't do anything else. If you broke the law, you were banished. Watch your trash. If you think China's garbage sporting rules are strict now, think about how people in this Shang dynasty had to deal with their trash. They received severe punishment if they threw away the wrong kind of trash. According to a philosophical and legal text written by Han Fei during the Warring States period, a person's hand had to be cut off if they were caught throwing trash on the road. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.